This is a new LED PAR from Light Emotions. It's got 12 5 watt RGBW uh, chips in it. Uh, we've been having it on test here at Gearbox. What do you reckon, Jimmy? Um, mate, I reckon for the money, this is actually pretty good. Uh, I've got a few little ni niggling points, but they're only they're only small points. Uh, first up, I guess we should tell everyone it, it's 25 degree angle. Mm -hmm. um, there are no there are no clamps to put you know sort of filters in. So if you wanted to, to put diff in, you'd probably need to just figure out a new way to attach it. Um, but you know, for the money, again, that's a compromise I'd pretty happily make. I think in, in the kind of applications you're going to find this. Uh, people aren't going to be trying to look for something they can change the beam angle on. Mm. Uh, what do you reckon about the the information that comes with it? Look, it's this is really, really well written documentation, which is actually getting to be a bit of a rarity. Uh, it even explains how to wire DMX. Um, speaking of which, we've got a three pin uh, DMX yeah, connection on the back. Three pin. Uh, I look. It, it's a bugbear. It's it's one of those things. DMX. 512 has always been, you know, 5-pin XLR mm -hmm. since forever, but we've seen 3-pin appearing uh, even on the higher-end fixtures now, which, which is, I guess, good if you've got the 3-pin and the 5-pin option because mm. it gives you some flexibility with your cabling, but it's bad because it encourages people to use mic leads yeah. for DMX. Mm. Uh, and I know there are people out there who do it, mm. uh, and that's fine until the day it doesn't work. Mm. Um, same thing, most people don't terminate their DMX lines. Yeah, well, which it even goes into in, in the manual here to actually do it properly with a 120 ohm resistor. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And it's little effort, but it, it's certainly going to add to your reliability. Look, reliability-wise, I've had no problems with this. It doesn't seem to actually make any noise, no. which I like. Mm -hmm. um, look, the the hook, oh sorry, the, the yoke is one of these double yokes, so you can stand it up. But it does sort of seem to, to get a little bit on the droopy side. Um, mm. there, are, there are a couple of fibre washers on this side, possibly if you tighten the other, the mm. opposing bolt up, it would be a little bit better. But, mm. you know, look, I mean, really, for the money, you're yeah. going to complain? No, well, I mean, it sort of sits in that mid-range. It pumps out quite a lot of power for the price. Yeah, look, it looks pretty good. I, I, think, I think there's some good value to be had here. Mm. I agree.